Welcome back to another NFL recap video where I'm going to be going over the best of week 16 Sunday slate. Amari Cooper and Joe Flacco connection has been so strong as the Browns pick up win number 10 on the year. Joe Flacco now has three games with over 300 plus yards passing. Deshaun Watson has zero. And Amari Cooper sends some Browns franchise records with 11 receptions for 265 yards and two touchdowns. Reports are saying that the Browns could be open to re-signing Joe Flacco next year as a possible backup. Up. The Packers get a much needed win, but in it, Bryce Young showed some flashes as they cooked Joe Barry and the Packers defense for 30 points. They almost won, but the Packers got a field goal at the end. The Jets almost blew a 20 0 halftime lead as well as a 27 7 lead. Sam Howell got benched for Jacoby Brissett, but Greg Zerline is going to hit a 54 yarder for the Jets to win before time expires. But according to an ESPN article by Rich Samini, he's a Jets ESPN reporter, Aaron Rodgers can considers himself a pretty decent recruiter, and due to his relationship with general manager Do Joe Douglas, he looks forward to trying to recruit some guys to play for the Jets this next year, and players on that list, obviously Devontae Adams, everyone knows that there's some interest with them reuniting, the Jets could possibly look into a trade with the Raiders, but then there's also some other former teammates, guys like David Bakhtiari or Aaron Jones are potential cut candidates, because Bakhtiari coming off a torn ACL, Jones, he has a hefty cap hit, and then guys like A.J. Dillon, John Runyon, uh, Robert Tunyon will all be free agents, so they could possibly be interested in them, them too, and they're hoping that Rodgers could do similar to what Tom Brady did when he brought in the player like Rob Gronkowski and helps them win the Super Bowl, so we'll see what the Jets offseason is like before year two of Aaron Rodgers, year one of him actually playing. Nick Mullins threw four interceptions as the Lions were able to secure their first ever NFC North division title, and their first division title in over 30 years this Lions team looks dangerous when they're playing on when they're clicking on all cylinders they just got win number 11 of the year the Titans are going to have another loss that's loss number 10 on the year that's not what it's been like for the Titans under the Mike Vrabel coaching scheme but the Seahawks are going to have another late comeback this time new quarterback but same result Mike Evans and Baker Mayfield have been absolutely on the same page all year and reports are saying that there's mutual interest between the Bucks and Baker Mayfield and the reunion and the Bucks are trying to re-sign Mike Evans too as he's been a lifelong buck. He had two touchdowns today and he's been red hot all year so those two could be coming back and be part of the future of the Bucks. The Bears, they win another game against the Cardinals and really all this is going to do is add more debate and add more controversy to whether you trade Justin Fields or draft Caleb Williams, whatever that decision may be. The Dolphins, they clinch the playoffs as they get a win over a team with a 500 or above record. They needed that win. It could be a signature win. Jason Sanders had five field goals. Jalen Waddell had a big touchdown. Tua led a game-winning drive, so everything was going right for them. And for the Cowboys, they're 7-0 at home, but just 3-5 and on the road, and they're going to have to go on the road to start the playoffs a couple games. So that's going to have teams questioning whether they're legit contenders coming out of the NFC Conference, because a lot of those losses are the playoff opponents as well, like the Dolphins and like the Bills last week. The Falcons, they're going to get a win. They're still a long shot to make the playoffs, but Arthur Smith could possibly be coaching for his job at this point and they kind of had a dominating win over a Colts team who has been playing good football now to end this video I'm going to be talking about an ESPN article from Jeremy Fowler and Dan Graziano of ESPN where they were talking about some possible trade candidates this offseason for wide receivers number one is Stefan Diggs his production has gone down ever since Ken Dorsey got fired but the thing is the Bills have been winning so they're finding ways to win without Stefan Diggs there's been some times he's off the field and third down says so you should and production has just been overall down this year and there's already been previous reports then also T Higgins is a possible sign and trade candidate use the franchise tag and trade him that's kind of been reported for a bit because they're going to have to pay Jamar Chase they're paying Burrow and then Brandon Ayuk for the 49ers it's a priority for them to re-sign him maybe even over Chase Young but at some point they can't sign everyone because they're paying so many skill position players already that's the best from Sunday's week 16 action